God knows us so well that he anticipated we would all need a second chance or maybe even more. His mercy makes up for our missteps. And that's the focus of our verses of the week. Ever find yourself bouncing from one stimulus to the next, like a pinball in a machine? Then suddenly, game over. Important phone call, family crisis, crazy social media post, that incomplete list of to-dos. All these things can have you veering off course on any given day. Whatever plan you may have had, thanks to distractions, is now dead in the water. Fortunately for us, God promises us a fresh outpouring of His mercies every day. Our first memorization verse encourages us this way. Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Let's learn this verse. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. However we mess up our day, God's love gives us another way. Repeat this part with me. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. God wants us to succeed. Here's how I know this for a fact. The next part of the verse says, His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Even when we're not faithful, He is. God gives us a new dawn with a fresh outpouring of His mercy every day. This time, repeat it with me. His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Which makes complete sense when you think about what is written in Psalm 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This verse encourages us to focus on today, which is a gift from our Creator. There's no sense in dwelling on yesterday and what you did or didn't accomplish. As the saying goes, it's history. Today is your new opportunity. Let's learn this verse. This is the day the Lord has made. With me now. This is the day the Lord has made. Now the next part. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Again, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Expect good to happen in your day. It's a new 24 hours, which means there's only so much you can fit into this day. Because God wants us to be successful, planning is a priority. That idea is backed up by scripture. Proverbs 13, 16 says, a wise person thinks ahead. A fool doesn't and even brags about it. Let's learn this verse. A wise person thinks ahead. Say it with me. A wise person thinks ahead. If we follow these instructions, we'll be more efficient at preparing for the days ahead. Now the next part. A fool doesn't and even brags about it. With me. A fool doesn't and even brags about it. Planning is one part of the equation. We have another job to do. We must be disciplined and stick to that agenda. Here's what will help you. Proverbs 16.3 says to us, Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. This is certainly worth learning. Commit your work to the Lord. We must give God our plans first. Commit your work to the Lord. Why do you ask? Here's why. The verse continues, and your plans will be established. God's going to set up your day if you just give it to Him, and your plans will be established. I know most of us look at daily tasks and think, we've got this. Maybe you think they're too mundane to bring to God, but He wants us to trust and rely on Him to be successful. So humble yourself because Scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Now, here's your last tool for powerful planning. Psalm 61.8 says, I will sing praise to your name forever, that I may daily keep my promises. Let's learn. 
I will sing praise to your name forever. There's something about worship that brings us closer to God's purposes for our lives. I will sing praise to your name forever. As we do, He guides our plans and helps us hold steadfast to our commitments. That I may daily keep my promises. That's God's grace in action. That I may daily keep my promises. We make promises to God, to others, and to ourselves. So let's spend time in His presence today and every day so our plans are His plans for us. Father, we worship you today. We acknowledge that all your ways are perfect. Guide us today as we place our objectives in your hands, for your will is all that matters. We ask these things in your merciful name, Lord. Amen. Well, those are our verses of the week. Now, go with God and succeed in your day as you lean on Him and as you learn Scripture by heart.